I've been gone for a while because I was on vacation. But it felt so weird being on vacation, not being outsourcing. I did put my store in vacation mode and I was terrified. I've heard so many other resellers talk about their sales going dead after being in vacation mode. That wasn't the case for me. Now I did only sell about three things while I was on vacation so I was getting worried um, but then over the weekend gosh I, I had a lot of sales. It definitely made up for the time that I missed going to go do some sourcing this week and so i'm going to try to take you guys along with me so i'm going to try to do a little more filming in store we'll see how that goes and hopefully i'll find some good stuff throughout the week and be able to put it on here i did not miss shipping i did not miss listing but i think everybody can miss some sourcing what is your favorite part of being a reseller do you like listing photographing shipping not sure anybody does on that one um or is your favorite part actually sourcing i'm pretty sure most of you guys would say it's sourcing so i found out that's definitely my favorite part because it is the only part that i missed all right guys so let's go shopping um first thing i noticed in this store were these shoes they're kind of the style but they were not a good brand and as I started to look over, I noticed that there were not really many shoes. Like this is the least amount I've ever seen at this store. It's like, where are all the shoes at? Anyway, it was a lot of dirty shoes, a lot of bad brand shoes, but I hung with it. And right as I was about to leave, I saw the lady roll out that brings all the shoes out. So I actually got lucky. So I was looking around, saw these. Um, I don't know, does that brand still sell anymore? And I got really lucky and found my very first pair of these Doc Martens in the wild. I've never found Doc Martens before. So that was cool. These were like a lady size eight, I believe, and they're in really, really good shape. I don't know if I'll sell those closer to winter or go ahead and put them up for sale on eBay. Not sure. Then I came across these vans and they were in good condition or I would not have picked them up. Um, some of my vans sell great, others sit for forever, but I figured I'd give it a try and keep them myself if they didn't sell. I noticed that there were about a million other pairs of vans that must have been donated at the same time. So I was probably going to show you a few more vans right here. Um, checking out these Nikes first they had a lot of flaws or i would have picked them up oh these nike air i have tried to sell those before and they just didn't go anywhere oh there's the vans right there um plus another pair i think up top yeah where are they there they are it was like van city anyway i was so glad she came out and filled up all the shoes because then i was able to actually find a few um super excited about the doc martens not super excited about these shoes that i picked up that were wet it was so gross oh man i hate it when i come across stuff like this where i cannot figure out the signature on the back or the stamp i couldn't figure it out and at four dollars a piece i was not going to spend that on them maybe that was a bad idea didn't find much from that store but we have a few more stores to go to and hopefully we'll have some better luck i did find those doc martens and i know the vans won't go for much but they're in really good shape um i might even keep them so now i'm at a miracle hill thrift store and oh my gosh, there were so many people there, but I did spot these old Cracker Barrel rooster mugs and I was gonna take all of them because they're adorable and I think they'll sell. I only got two though. Wow, that's expensive. 
I got the two that, you know, were in good condition. No cracks, no chips, nothing on them. So I'm hoping to sell two of those for maybe about $25 to $30. We'll see. So sometimes in these stores, I hit the jackpot and find quite a bit of stuff, or at least one really good thing. That just really wasn't the case today, um, but that's okay. So I kept looking at things, checking things out for you guys to see while I was there. I love how they organize everything by color and it kind of just, I don't know, it's, it's so cool how they do that. Um, here's a little wooden cat that, I don't know, super cute, wouldn't want to ship it. And I am tired of seeing all the Ohio State stuff here in good old South Carolina. Must be a lot of bandwagon fans. There's my team right there. I know the Gamecocks kind of suck right now, but whatever. Found this fossil like briefcase that I did not get on film and these two hats that I also picked up. So that was pretty much it for my trip. I think I turned around while I was in the checkout line. I did, <laughs> of course, because I have to. Now some Chuck E. Cheese stuff can go for great money. That was not. Um, this was an old Yankee candle and it was half burnt. It had the little topper on the top and I took it home, but I kept it for myself because it was not a retired scent. All right. But while I was at the Goodwill the, at the other location, I found these Crocs, I found these on clouds and I found some Birkenstocks. And so the Birkenstocks Definitely had a little bit of wear, but my goodness, everybody seems to buy them anyway. So I picked those up and then I was super curious about these toys. Um, they have these like netted material around them. Now, obviously those are Sesame Street. I ended up putting those back, but I took a couple of bags home just so I could open them up with you and see what's in them. I'm okay, I had to do it. I had to grab these and see what were in them. At two bucks a piece. We're gonna see what toys are in here. Wow, how much tape do you need on here? Like they wrap, it's like that game where you put like a bunch of, oh, it's like that game where you saran wrap the thing and you pass it around and undo it like one of those weird games. We did that this Christmas. Hmm, I wonder if I have a video of that. I think I do. I'm gonna add that. Anyway, that's what this feels like. I almost stabbed myself. Don't worry, this is only gonna take about 10 more hours. There we go, it opened. All right, so it looks like... Time. My neighbor oh. loves Spider-Man. I gotta go give this to him. He's four years old, cutest little boy ever. He needs this. I gotta go find him. Go give this to Sawyer. Okay. You can keep it, okay? So we're back. We have a bunch of Marvel toys. Ah! Stand up. Stand up. And, and since the Spider-Man movie just came out, I could probably sell it all. What do you like underneath their mask? Or he? Who knows? It's two Spider-Mans. The twins. Oh my god. Stand up. Three Spider-Mans. Another Spider-Man. One has different color eyes. Toy. Your Spider-Man watch. It's Spidey time. Spidey time. Well, how do you have that many of the same two? So all newer figures. I don't know. I think I could probably sell them. All right, let's see what's in this other one. I think I could kind of see through this it looks like those Imaginex toys. I'm stuck. Um, ah! Okay. Now we got 
that. Man. Joker. Superman. Another Batman. What is this guy? Penguin or something? I don't know. But these are the Imagine X guys. Is that Spider? Ah. So I bet I can sell these pretty easily. This is not an Imagine X. This is just a Batman. Oh, Power Ranger! <laughs> Joker again. Another Joker. Another Batman. Another, wow, how, who has this many Batmans? That's just crazy. It's a little people Batman. That's cute. Okay, so we have the red Power Ranger, and we have a black-colored Power Ranger. We have two more of the same Batmans. Penguin? I feel like that's really out of place. What the heck? Okay. Oh, this is a Jurassic Park guy. Sorry, my camera's not focusing. Another Batman. Oh, it's Robin. And another Joker. Wow. That was interesting. See y'all later. Okay, so I sourced some really good stuff before I went on vacation, and since I didn't get any footage of it, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you now. Here is a vintage Victoria's Secret gown. It's hanging up to dry. I am so short. Urgh. It is Christian Dior, however you say that. Okay, check out some of the jackets I got. So here's the first one and Here's the back of it. The back of it's the cool part. It is so heavy. I thought that was a super cool leather jacket. This, no, this already had. This is another super cool jacket that I got. And I'm hoping to sell both of those. Oh my gosh, they're so heavy. And I got this... Polo Ralph Lauren blazer. Okay, so now we're going out of my eBay closet and going to my eBay table. Okay, so over here I have some on clouds. Gotta clean them up a little bit more. But I got these for $5.50. They're in pretty good shape. I think I accidentally. This. It, shh. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Keep going. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, it won't happen again. This is a Tumi luggage case. Actually, I think it is a laptop case. Um, I got it for $8, and it's like, it's basically new. The only thing is, it did have, it does have a strap that's missing right here, but I don't think that's going to affect what I can sell it for. And then it was just a to me kind of day because I also got this, which I also believe is a laptop briefcase. It's really hard to do stuff with one hand. Anyway, y'all won't believe what I got this for. Go ahead and guess. It's in really good condition. A couple scuffs down here or just dirt that I can get off. Um, if you didn't know, Toomey is like a higher brand, a higher end luggage brand. I paid $1 for this. What are you doing? What are you doing, child? Okay. And by Inesco, however you say that. But look how cute. That was a dollar. Digital picture frame. And it was new, like everything in it is new. So, okay, so sure, why not pick up one from the bins that cost like next to nothing? I found these, you know, if anybody has heard of this brand, let me know. So I looked up the solds on this brand. What is this? Sippo, Kippo, Kaipo, and Bax? I, I do not know, but what drew me to these jeans were, hold on. Let me see if I can, I don't think I can put my camera up anywhere. 
was just how decorative they are. So I got two pairs of these and they were seven, seven dollars a piece. So I'm thinking, and they're, they're in really good condition. Here are these. I've just never heard of this brand and it, I saw some selling new really, really well. So I don't know, maybe $40, 50. I don't know if anybody has ever heard of this brand or sold it, let me know. Okay. So Crocs are still a thing. Cause I just put my son's Crocs for sale that <clears throat> he never wore because he didn't like the way they felt. And they sold for like $24 and buyer is paying shipping. Jordans that I got for $5. So yeah, I stashed some things up and need to get them listed. And I just wanted to show you what some of those things were. But wait, there's more. These Kate Spade plates, they are so cute and they're new. I'm not going to open the box up, but I think I could sell them for $25 to $30. And I actually paid, I think, $4. But they're really cute. And if they don't sell well, I will just um, keep them. Yes, do you want to go for a walk? Do you guys want to go for a walk? You will go for a walk? Do you want to go for a walk? You do. Oh, you definitely want to go for a walk, don't you? Where is it? Okay, so I found this bra and I recognized that name and I grabbed it. And then just to find out, it has no size. I cannot find a size anywhere on it. So now I guess I cannot sell it. We'll part out. What was the name of that belt, honey? Mernickel. Mer. Okay, Mernickel holsters. Um, it's a really nicely made belt. And I found a comp. One that sold over a hundred dollars. I picked this up for two dollars, so I'm thinking I'll make somewhat of a profit. It's a Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. I know a lot of people say Ralph Lauren. Which one is it? Ralph Lauren or Ralph Lauren? Still has a price tag. Anyway, it's a really pretty belt. So I'm gonna see how I do with the belts. I've sold like two belts, and they sold really well. All right, well, my dogs really wanna walk, so on to some of my solds real quick. Okay, so you know earlier I said some vans sell well and some do not. Well, these are an example of some vans that sold well for me. I paid $6.50 for those. All right, I got this hat at the bins for less than $1 and sold it for about $20. That's a great profit. These are some cute little McDonald's Pokemon shooter toys. I picked them up at the bins for less than a dollar, so I'm perfectly happy with that sale as well. Oh man, there's a bit of a story behind this one that I have to share. So I got this like goblet off of an auction for like seven or eight dollars. And I got it because it looked antique and interesting, but the pictures on the auction site were not very clear. So this thing, I picked it up and I'm like, what is this? It looks like some kind of cup for a ritual or something. So as I did more research into it, it looked like it was a uh, kind of based on Hinduism. It had God and goddesses on there. One was like a God of destroyer. Anyway, I put it on auction and I was going to wait it out, but somebody offered me $40 and I was like, gone, take it, please. Because I don't know the origin of this thing. Do I have something like haunted sitting around in my house? I was so ready to get that out of here. On to a much more pleasant sale. Always pick up these realistic looking dogs. They may not sell for much, but they'll sell. So at the bins, I paid under a dollar for that little cute terrier. Believe it or not, I actually got these Stacy Adams shoes from the bins for about $2 because it was half off day. And they had some flaws, but with the flaws, I think they actually sold very well. They also sold very quickly because they sold within 24 hours of listing them. I sold the Star Wars shirt at full asking price. I paid $1.50 for it. I paid $2.50 for this Victoria's Secret pajama set. And I just kind of wanted to get it out of the house. I probably could have waited to get a little more, but I was happy with the profit. All right, y'all know I'm impatient. I probably could have got a little more from this Build-A-Bear Hibiscus Bunny because I don't, I didn't see a lot of them, but I did sell it for about $15 and I was happy with that since I only paid less than a dollar for it at the bins. 
This is the last of the set that I picked up at the bins. It was the Anki Robot with, or better known as Cosmo, and it had the cubes, the charger, and the robot. So I actually sold each piece separately and ended up with over probably about $150 in sales for only spending about $4. This was an excellent sale. It was literally just a paperback book, um, a workbook, and it sold for $40. I got it at the bins. It was like shoved in with all the clothes and I pulled it out of there and got it for, I mean, probably like 10 cents. My cost of goods on this hat was less than a dollar. Got it at the bins and it sold pretty quickly. I've had this Harley Davidson shirt for months and it was a favorite of mine. Really cool graphics. I picked it up for $1.50 and it finally sold, so I was super happy. Last but not least is this Jumbo Five Nights at Freddy's plush. Always grab these plush, whether they're big or small, because right now they are selling really hot. I hope you guys enjoyed my video and I will see you guys later.